God's love became real to me um, uh, throughout my life. I was baptized as a little baby, um, but I didn't go to church very much after that until there were uh, certain youth workers in my church, um, volunteers and, and church staff who kept inviting me to things and kept bothering me to go. And there were girls, so I went. And uh, as, as I got to experience the people in the community there, we, we studied the Bible. And as I engaged God's Word, uh, that living Word of God through which God works, He spoke to me and He made uh, Christ's love concrete for me. And uh, I haven't stopped digging into it uh, since. Every week as I'm in God's Word, I'm reminded of not just his love for me, but his heart for the world, that he actually wants us to love people. And one of the things in the last year that's been really helpful in my thinking is, is not just God loves us, but God likes us. And in the same way, he wants us to actually like our neighbors, to delight in them and to love them, not in an abstract way, but to enjoy them. And I sometimes arrogantly think, well, of course God loves and forgives me. I'm not as bad as that person. It's like the parable that Jesus tells, that the two people went to pray and the one guy said, I thank you, I'm not like these other men. And, and the tax collector stood in the back and said, I'm, I'm not worthy. And I think when I see myself as the tax collector, I'm able to love. When I see myself as, as the Pharisee standing in front of people, I, I don't see the other people that I'm, ought to, I'm supposed to love. If you're having a hard time forgiving your neighbor, you probably don't know how much God has forgiven you. So to go back to that promise of God's grace, to me, it, it's not just the Sunday school or the right answer. It's the only answer. I didn't have many Christian friends growing up. So for me, uh, Muslims and Buddhists and Hindus and Jews, they, they, they weren't categories of people. They were my, my teammates. They were my classmates. They were my friends. It makes it more difficult to love if it's just a, an abstract category, if it's a label for a group. Um, and so I might have a hard time loving those people. But if it's just Jonas and Jonas and I can have coffee, all of a sudden it's a real person and I can love the person. So for me, it's, it's much easier to love individual people than a group of people that I don't know. So as, as a Christian, I think the first thing I would say is I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry for my part in not loving you. I'm sorry on behalf of the church for not being loving. Um, we're not perfect. Uh, we are broken people who not only have been saved by grace, but we still need grace. And, and we want to offer you the same grace that, that we have received and, and we still need. And God isn't done with us and we're trying. Sometimes we're trying poorly and, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, Christ's cross and empty tomb is good enough even to save a Christian. I, the grace of Jesus is good enough even to save somebody who ought to know better. And I need God's grace every single day, and I'm aware of that more and more every day. And His grace is enough for you.